these three paid and premium indicators can improve or create really high win rate strategies that allow for you to make consistent profits. However, most premium indicators have very high prices that can in some cases be unreasonable. So in today's video, we will showcase three free alternatives to paid and premium indicators. Now that we have gotten that out of the way, let's start. The first indicator that we will be looking at is the market cipher indicator. This indicator is used by CryptoFace, a trading YouTuber that does live trades with over $1 million positions sometimes making hundreds of thousands in profit. Like many paid indicator packages, MarketCypher consists of multiple indicators, the main ones being MarketCypher A and MarketCypher B. Now let's take a look at the free alternative similar to MarketCypher on TradingView. The first indicator that we will be adding is the free alternative similar to the MarketCypher A indicator. Head over to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Vu Manchu Cypher A indicator. Select the indicator made by Vu Manchu and add it to the chart. The second indicator that we will be adding to the chart is the Vu Manchu Cypher B indicator. Search for the Vu Manchu Cypher B indicator and select the indicator made by Vu Manchu. Those were all of the indicators that we will be adding to the chart. Now let's take a look at how these indicators work and how we could use them. As you can see here is a screenshot with a side-by-side -side of the Market Cypher B and the Vu Manchu Cypher B, and both indicators seem nearly identical. Now let's take a look at a simple strategy that this indicator can be used with. To use the indicator with the strategy we will first need to change some settings. Navigate to the Market Cypher B indicator settings and click on the Inputs tab. We will be removing the regular divergences and the stochastic RSI, after that change the multiplier for the money flow index to 350 to make it more visible. Once you have done that head over to the style tab. Here we will be unchecking the VWAP checkbox. That was all that we needed to do, as you can see the chart looks a lot cleaner and easier to read. You have the money flow index here, whenever it's below the zero line it will be red and whenever it's above the zero line it will be green. The green and red line at the bottom also represent the money flow index. Then finally you have the blue waves, whenever the waves cross, a dot is printed based on the cross direction. For the strategy that we will be showcasing, we will remove the market cipher A indicator and replace it with a 50 and 200 period EMA. Now that we have finished setting up the chart, let's take a look at when to enter into a position. Firstly, the price will need to be above the 200 period EMA. Secondly, the price will need to pull back into the 50 period EMA. Now let's take a look at the Vu Manchu Cypher B indicator. We will need for the money flow to be green and above the zero line. The blue waves will also need to be below the zero line. Once all of the conditions have been met we will wait for a bullish crossover on the blue waves. As you can see this occurs here and a green dot has been printed. Based on this, we will enter into the buy position. We will be placing the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will target a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. For a sell position, the price will need to be trading below the 200 period EMA. Secondly, the price will need to pull back into the 50 period EMA. On the Vu Manchu Cypher B indicator, the money flow will need to be red and below the zero line, for the blue waves the opposite will need to be true, they will need to be above the zero line. As you can see all of the conditions have been met, this means that we will enter into the position once the waves cross over and print a red dot. As you can see this happens here so we will enter into the position. We will place the stop loss at the recent swing high. For the take profit, we will target a 2 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Now let's take a look at the next free version of a paid indicator. But before that, if you are looking for a crypto exchange that currently has zero spot trading fees, some of the lowest fees when it comes to futures trading and up to a $30,000 bonus, then check out the link in the description of the video to get access to all of these perks. The second indicator that we will be showcasing is the Volume Profile Indicator by TradingView. To access this indicator you will need to have a paid TradingView Pro account. However, there is a free alternative to this indicator that is very similar. So let's add this indicator to the chart. 
navigate to the Indicator Search tab and search for the Volume Profile slash Fixed Range Indicator. Select the indicator made by Lonesome the Blue. As you can see the indicator is very similar to the Volume Profile indicator from TradingView. The indicator aims to show you the volume of the asset at certain price points. To optimize the indicator let's head over to the indicator settings and click on the inputs tab. We will be changing the row size to 48, after that we will change the number of bars to 400. That was all that we needed to do, now let me show you how this indicator can be used. With the indicator we can see price points at which there is a lot of volume, so let's draw lines at the price points at which the volume is the highest. Now that we have done that let's disable the indicator and observe the effect that the high volume has on the price. As you can see these high volume price points act as support and resistance zones. We also see that when price breaks below or above one of these zones it usually happens with a lot of volume causing large bearish or bullish candlesticks. If you would like to see a specific strategy with this indicator then check out this video. Now let's take a look at the third indicator. The third indicator we will be looking at is the MDX Algo Indicator Package, which are a set of algorithmic indicators that were developed and fine-tuned by expert traders with decades of collective experience. Now let's add the free alternative of the indicator to the chart. Head over to the indicator search bar and search for the MDX indicator, select both of these indicators made by Matthias and add them to the chart. As you can see we now have two indicators that have been added to the chart. Both indicators show buy and sell confirmations however, we will be removing these signals from the MDXMA indicator, to do this head over to the indicator settings and click on the style tab. After that uncheck the entry arrow checkboxes. We will also be changing the thickness of the lines to make them more visible. Now let me show you a simple strategy to showcase how the indicator could be used. For the strategy we will add one more indicator to the chart, so head over to the search tab and search for the QQE mod indicator, select the indicator made by Michael and add it to the chart. That was all that we needed to do, now let me show you when to enter into a position. For a buy position the following conditions will need to be met. Firstly a buy signal will need to be provided with a green arrow. Secondly the trend line will need to be green. This will need to be the case on both indicators. Thirdly, the ribbon on the MDXMA indicator will also need to be colored in green. Once all of the conditions have been met we will wait for the QQE mod histogram to switch to blue, once this happens we will enter into the buy position. We will put the stop loss at the recent swing low. For the take profit, we will target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. For a sell position, we will first need a sell signal to be provided. We will also need for the trend lines on both the MDX by sell and the MDX MA indicators to be red. On the MDX MA indicator, the ribbon will also need to be colored in red indicating that the trend is bearish. Once all of the conditions have been met, we will wait for the QQE mod histogram to switch to red. As you can see this happens here so we will enter into the position. We will put the stop loss at the recent swing high and for the take profit, we'll target a 1.5 times risk to reward ratio. Now let's see how the trade plays out. Please remember that the strategies shown in this video are to showcase the indicators and how they can be used and haven't been extensively backtested. I hope you could find an interesting indicator and that you found these free alternatives to premium indicators helpful. If you did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment.